Hello everyone, welcome to another ArcGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download TRM and precipitation data, which stands for Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download TRM and precipitation data uh, for a specified country. Now, as you can see over here uh, today, our specified example is going to be uh, Brazil. So today I'm going to show you how to download this data uh, for Brazil. So let's get started. Now as the very first step, I would like you all to visit this website. I will put the link uh, to this website down in the description below of this tutorial. Uh, as you can see over here, it's mirador.gsfc.nasa.gov. Now once you come to this website, just scroll down a little bit. And over here, under this available options, available types of data, you can see if you scan a little bit you can see one option called TRMM so just click on that alright now you can see that you're presented with two types of uh, data groups the first one being gridded and the second one is uh, orbital uh, click on the gridded data Now under that option you can see that you are presented with different types of data which corresponds to different spatial and also differ, uh, different uh, temporal resolutions. Now for example over here you can see that this data corresponds to, correspond to a spatial resolution of 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 degrees whereas you can see over here that this data correspond to a much finer spatial resolution as well as a temporal res resolution compared to the monthly data as you can see over here this data corresponds to 3 hour 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 degree uh, DRMM data so for this tutorial I'm going to proceed with this 3B42 And over here you can actually see the the description of the type of data and you can see that it's three hourly data uh, of this special resolution now just to demonstrate you how to download this data I'm going to select uh, one random year let it be maybe year 2003 the month of April now this 270 actually correspond to the amount of data that that we have uh, in this particular database corresponding to this month of this particular year and now you can see that you are presented with the dates of the month of April in year 2003 so I'm just going to click uh, let's say Wednesday and now you can see the availability of data we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have nine different uh, sets of data and as you can see over here if you just examine the the time intervals you can see that it, it actually has an interval of three hours for example here for example here it's 1 30 and over here it's 4 30 here it's 7 30 and here it's 10 30 so i'm just going to go ahead and proceed with uh, this data now in order to download you have to go to this open open dap option So click on that and over here you are presented with different types of data which you can download. So I'm so for this example I'm going to go ahead with uh, NetCDF4 because this format uh, it's quite capable of uh, we are quite capable of opening this NetCDF format using ArcGIS. That's the reason that I'm going to download this NetC get as uh, NetCDF4. Alright, so once the downloading is done, uh, I will go back to ArcGIS and now just go to your Arc Toolbox over here and click on the Multi-Dimension Tools and click on Make NetCDF Raster Layer. Alright. Now under input netcdf file, just browse to the place where you downloaded your your trmm netcdf data. So in my case, it's this file. So I'm just going to open it. 
Now it might take a while and after that you can see actually you are presented with uh, these, these, bl these blocks are getting filled with uh, some options. For example if you go to the variable options you can see what type of variables you would like to represent. Now in our case it's going to be precipitation which is rainfall and just leave the x dimension as uh, longitude and y dimension as uh, latitude and just click OK. Now you can see that you are presented with a band of TRMM data which corresponds to 9th of April uh, of year 2003. That's the data that we downloaded uh, in our previous step. And as you can see that it's not necessarily covering the whole, uh, whole globe. And if you draw your attention a little bit over here, you can see that we are presented with a raster and then the highest value is 67.67. Now this one corresponds to millimeters. So as you can see over here, these red zones correspond to high precipitation areas and the blue zones basically correspond to uh, regions with uh, low or very minimal rainfall. Now, now for the time being I'm just going to turn off this base map so that it will make the, the loading times a little bit faster. And now I have a shapefile of Brazil. So I'm just going to import that shapefile. Just drag it and drop it over here. I have TRMM data covering a large area but I only want to isolate the, the region which is covered by the boundary of Brazil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only clip clip my uh, TRMM precipitation data raster using this uh, boundary of Brazil. So for that you can just go to your search tab and just type extract by mask. And my input raster is now going to be the precipitation layer. And the feature mass data is going to be Brazil. So just click OK. All right, now you can see that if you turn off this precipitation layer and also if you turn off the Brazil layer, you can see that we have the corresponding TRMM data which corresponds to just Brazil. So I'm just going to change the color scheme a little bit uh, in order to have a better representation. All right, now you can see that the low, I'll just turn this layer off as well. Now you can see that the low, the red regions correspond to basically no rainfall areas. And you can see over here there are some blue pixels which correspond to uh, the regions or which correspond to the areas where uh, during this particular time it received about 4.58 uh, millimeters of rainfall. Now I'm just going to add another layer which specify the states of Brazil. Just drag it and drop it over here. I'm going to make this transparent and probably have only the outline out and probably have only the outlines and I'm going and I'm also going to add the name names of each state also to our map it's under name one Alright, now you can see that uh, corresponding to this particular date that we downloaded the data for, you can see that this state Para has received the largest rainfall as well as this, uh, this state called uh, Amapa has also received uh, quite relatively a large amount of rain but uh, in comparison you can see that other major states have not received that much of rainfall. Uh, based on our downloaded TRMM data. 
So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and if you have any questions please comment them down below and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more interesting GIS related tutorials in the upcoming weeks. Thank you.